Okay, welcome to another edition of Fish Tales with Tim. We are in Adelaide, South Australia this morning, and we're about to check out the National Wine Centre, which is this big, incredible looking building, which is right behind me. Australia is one of the world's biggest producers of wine. In fact, we produce up to 1.3 billion litres of the stuff every year. And we like a bit of a, a bit of a drink ourselves too, because we uh, actually consume about 500 million litres of the stuff. So here at the wine centre, they go through the whole production process of the wine, and we learn a lot about South Australia's uh, wine production. In fact, here in South Aussie, we produce more than half of Australia's wine. How about that? So let's go inside, let's check it out, let's have some fun today, and maybe a sample or two here at the National Wine Centre in Adelaide, South Australia. Okay, so we're just inside the wine center right now. Now, when you come here, if you want to do a guided tour, that costs about $15. But if you just want to do your own self-guided tour, like what I'm doing today, it is free. That's right, no more baby. All you gotta do is pay for the parking outside, but here inside, checking out this really cool place, it is free. So let's, uh, let's check out this room here. It's gonna tell us all about the different types of wines uh, that are sort of created here in South Australia, and maybe a bit of a definition of what the differences are to someone who's not quite a wine connoisseur. If you're like me, and you can't tell your Semillon from your Shiraz, your Moscato from your Merlot, or your Riesling from your Rosé, then this three-dimensional display of Australia's 32 most important grape varieties will come in handy. All right, great. So one of the cool things you can do here is some of the interactive displays they have at the wine center. And this one here is where you try to make your own award-winning wine. So let's uh, check out the interactive display and let's just see how I go. We're gonna choose what sort of wine. We'll go for a cap step. See how we go with the tasting. Let's have a look at it. Obviously wine making is uh, not for me, but that's okay. Doesn't mean I can't enjoy drinking this stuff. <laughs> He's a Phylloxera crawler, and he looks pretty disgusting. But, I think he likes wine. All right, right now we're in a room where normally there'd be lots of people doing wine tasting, but uh, COVID has kind of put pay to things like that, unfortunately, or in this part of the building at least. But one thing that really is impressing me in this room here is the number of like, uh, is the number of those wine bottles up there on the wall behind me. As you can see, it's a whole just rows and rows and rows of wine bottles. Now, my question to you is, who had the job, as required by the National Wine Centre, to drink all that wine just for this display? Because, uh, you know, nobody called me and I could have come in handy. There are also displays of wine labels from across Australia and bottle tops and corks but undoubtedly, the most popular room in the place would have to be the wine bar. I've learned a lot about wine today. One thing I've learned is in Australia, there are 65 different wine regions and over 100 different varieties of wine to choose from. And a lot of them, you can only try and taste here at the National Wine Centre. There's just so much to choose from. There's like white wines, there's like uh, Moscatos, there's red wines. And the cool thing here is you can even try labels like this one here. Which, as you can see, this one actually doesn't have a barcode on it. So one's without barcodes, one's the only sell in the store. They only sell them in the cellar doors. They're here at um, National Wines. By the way, it has two different prices. One's the dine-in price. I'm gonna eat at the restaurant and have a glass of wine. That's how much it would cost you. And then if you take it away, a lot cheaper. If you feel like a tipple and in this location, it'd be really hard not to try it out. What you do is you get like a car, just like a, a, train, like a train car. And then you slide it into this little slide here. And then you look at the price for the glass. It depends how big the glass you want as well. You choose what size you want and you know how much you have to pay for it. Okay, which is really, really good. That way, hopefully you won't get too much of a bill shock at the end. Actually, 
depends on how much wine you drink, you may still get a shot at the end. I'm just taking a sample of one of the 48 wines that are currently available for tasting here at the National Wine Centre. Um, this one's called the, the Rockford Rosé. And what you do, like I showed you earlier on, is you put your card in the machine, it tells you the price. And this is like a wee sample, right? Now, I've seen people do this before, I don't know what it does. I think you try to uh, bring in the flavours or the aromas of the wine. Uh, one thing you do have to do, when you do get a, a glass of wine, you have to sit down at the table and drink it. Here we go, we're gonna try this Moscow, a Rockford Rosé. I don't know why I'm doing that, but it just looks more professional. Okay, that's pretty good. That's a really nice wine. Um, quite light, quite colourful. I'm sure the missus would be uh, disappointed if I brought that home for her. So yeah, we'll give that one a thumbs up. I've just tried a lovely um, rosé that I really, really like. I have a wee sample of that. And now I'm going to try something a little bit different. Like I said, they have lots of different types of wines and you know, it's a variety to choose from. I'm going to go for a white this time. And I've chosen this one for a very strange kind of reason, I guess. Some people, some people pick race horses because they like the colours the jockeys are wearing. I'm actually picking this wine just because I like the bottle it comes in. It's uh, this one here. It's called the... Adelaide Hills, next crop, Pinot Blanc. So uh, apparently it's quite fruity, lychee and apple in there, which sounds pretty good to me. So I'm gonna grab my card and we're gonna uh, give this one a bit of a go. So we're gonna put the card in the slot, uh, like that. Yep, it goes in the slot. And then what happens is we're gonna grab one of these glasses from down the bottom here, all right. And we're just going to press which one we want. So we're going to go for that that size. Oops. And then we're going to oh, kind of stuff that up somewhere. No! That's okay. And one thing uh, to learn from my mistake is to uh, put the glass there before you press that. Really <laughs> press the button because uh, what I'm looking at right now is three dollars <laughs> ten, and I'm hardly going to get the taste. All right. So. Uh, Here's me with my miniaturized sample <laughs> of, the, of the Pinot Noir, which I'm um, quite looking forward to trying. It also smells pretty good too. I think I do smell some of those flavors uh, that I spoke about before, the apple and the light cheese. So uh, we'll give this one a go. Okay, that's um, a bit drier than the other one. Not quite as sweet. I kind of do like sweet wines. Still very good though. Probably tastes really good with fish, uh, seafood, um, anything really. Probably a taste, especially good in summertime. And God knows the summers are hot here in South Australia, so something like this could be just a tonic. Thanks for joining me today on my trip to the National Wine Centre here in Adelaide. I've actually had a really, really good time and I've learned a hell of a lot about the craft that is making wine as well. And I've also sampled a bit too, which means that the next time I do drink some wine, I'll have that little bit more appreciation of, of what goes into it and just how good it really is. And also how important it is to South Australia. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like the video today, please give it a big thumbs up and uh, maybe even put a comment down below. Maybe you've been here to the National Wine Centre and you want to share your thoughts. I'd love to hear that as well. And I'd love to hear any feedback about any of the videos that I create here on Fish Stars with Tim. Anyway, thanks for watching and until next time, see you later.